Okay, I wanted to do a short video of how to use this crimping tool because I really wasn't able to find anything on the web uh, on how to use this thing and it took some messing around and destroying uh, crimp ends in order to get it to work. So, if you can see this, this is the IWISS, I-W-I-S-S tools. Um, I found this on on uh, Amazon for about 20 bucks. You can also get it from Pololu for about 30. So it's a really nice built little crimping tool. Uh, it allows you to crimp <coughs> these little uninsulated tab. I don't know if you can see that. It's very tiny. Uh, but it is the end use in, like these standardized jumpers that I use for a lot of different things. It crimps both male and female, and so not only do I have the tab, but I also have the cover for it, and it's one cover that uh, covers both the male and females. So what I'm going to do is uh, attempt to actually crimp that end onto this wire right here. <clears throat> so if you take a look at this, actually let's look at the tool first. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the tool, and again, like this is so fine, you probably can't see it, but on this male part, so this is the point one, the front male part is for point one uh, crimp ends, so this is what we're going to be using. But if you look at it, uh, one end is a little more narrow than the other end, and the the fatter end essentially is going to be where the, the long tabs are going to be folded over onto the insulation. So again, this is probably really hard to see, but there's some long tabs that go over the insulation and then some short tabs that are going to go over the wire itself. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you line that up into this tool the long tabs are going to line up with the um, larger end of the male connector. So the other thing is you want to make sure that you you uh, strip your wire so that um, when it is in here again this is so fine I don't know if it's going to be seeable but uh, I'm able to crimp over the plastic and over the actual conductor, but the conductor has not went into the barrel where the pin is going to go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get this pin uh, situated into the tool. And the way that I've been doing this is I hold the tool like this so that the fatter end of this male part is on my right hand side. I bring the tool upside down and then I take the large tabs on the pin and I feed it in here so that I can feel those tabs catch kind of the center line of the tool. So I don't know if you can see it but there's actually it's not it's not flush against the edge of that tool. I brought it in. You can see where this dividing line is. That's where these little tabs are going to catch. If you look in there, you, you can actually see that this tool is split in half too, and the left-hand side is a little bit smaller, so these tabs are going to catch on that. So once I get those caught, then I bring the tool down until I'm holding the pin in place. And once the pin is in place, uh, the top edge of the tool, which is right to you, is going to be where I want this piece of wire to go. So I'm going to feed that in there. I'm trying to make sure that I get the plastic all the way in or the insulation all the way in. But once it's in, then a good hard crimp. And I don't know if you can see that, but the larger tab is wrapped around the insulation. The shorter tab is wrapped around the wire. And if I were to take a male connector, it should be able to go into here. And it does. Alright, so the pin is crimped on. This is a female pin crimped into position. Again, I said that these little plastic parts, uh, they work for both the male and female. If you look at it, there's a small catch right here. And that catch is going to want to catch on the top side of this pin, so keep the pin top side up. And then 
uh, the way that I've got it situated, uh, I've got the hole on the left side, the tab on the right side, and I'm just going to push that over. And of course, I don't have it with me. Sometimes I don't get. Oh, it looks like it's going to go. Anyway, you push that up. Sometimes I take a very fine screwdriver and I push it in just a little ways to get that thing to make the last. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. And I don't have the screwdriver on me. So uh, actually, let's take this pin here. Just need to push it just a little bit. Yeah, this is not cooperating with me. But anyway, I think you get the idea. You just have to get something under there and push that just that little bit more in order to get that to clip. So uh, again, I use a really fine screwdriver to get it in there. Uh, so anyway, that's how I've managed to get this crimping tool to work pretty consistently for me.